everyone. Frankie here from Texas Tigress Designs. Um, <clears throat> I've had this cashmere coat for about a year and a half now. Um, it has a lot of moth holes. I got it at a resale shop. Um, actually, I got it at the Goodwill um, Pound Store where they have their clearance center. And it's a lovely coat. Very classic style, but definitely has moth-eaten areas on it. And I wanted to upcycle it. We can get a lot of really good things out of this coat. The inside lining. is gold. Knock out. The inside lining is gold. The coat itself is a camel color. Maybe it's too much light. Woo! Trying to get my lighting right in here. It's not the easiest thing. Sorry, guys. I'm working on it. But it's a camel color. It is a hundred percent cashmere imported it's almost a shame to take it apart that's part of the reason I've had it for a year and a half because I wanted to make sure that I had something special for the use of it and I'd even considered not taking it apart and selling it as the coat with the flaws but considering I got it at the pound store because it does have the flaws in the material I decided that I might as well upcycle it and resell it with it being something useful that people will buy because if it ended up in the pound store, it meant somebody didn't buy it. And I basically just rescued this thing. I just could not see it go to... I, I know the fabric would have gone and been recycled, but it was too good to pass up. So I'm going to deconstruct this. And I'm going to show you basically how to deconstruct. I'm putting... I'm going to try this. I don't know if it's going to work, but let's see if a laptop camera will be good enough to do this. These are fairly simple to deconstruct because of the, you can see the stitches are real easy. I normally would be using smaller scissors or my seam ripper, but my smaller scissors actually went to work with my fiance, with my husband. He's not my fiance anymore. And look, this is so old that the stitches, once you get them going, they just rip. So this one's going to be very simple. Then you get to some place like this, and just as I say that, <laughs> it's not so simple. But you'll find some good stitches in there. Usually they've been double stitched or something at that point. But most of it you just rip out. You cannot do this with something that's more modern, that's newer, because the stitching, the 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 thread is newer 
and you do run the risk of harming either fabric but because this is so old the thread is just tender and so it will just rip out without any damage when I start to feel resistance like this I actually stop and cut now there are places on here that are sewn in the pockets and the seams things like that and you have to be careful when you're taking those apart to get them started you don't want to cut the fabric as much as possible because there are certain things I'll cut seams and not worry about taking stitches out. There's a whole lot that I do that with. But on things like this, you can actually salvage it because the thread will come apart so well. Now, I've seen some people doing videos with the newer stuff. And they'll get it started and then they'll just rip it and it ends up harming their fabric and then you have to cut that fabric away that it's pulled which defeats the purpose because you might as well just cut the fabric away to start with which is basically what I do I've learned it leaves holes it's just not appealing unless that's the look that I'm actually going for in my project that I'm upcycling it to just take your time remember you're just wanting to get down back down to the basics of the materials and if you like this style of coat but, you know, it's got holes or it's got really bad stains, things like that. And it's not something you can sell. When you're deconstructing, you can see this has, this was the inside of the pocket. And if you will label each thing like sleeve, collar, uh, if it has the inside lining, um, pocket, inside pocket, outside pocket, flap, whatever the piece is, if you'll label it just with a piece of paper, write it on there and pin it to it, you can actually go back with craft the brown craft paper and make your own pattern pieces. Just... You would just put this down. You'll iron it flat. So you can get back all the way. The edges. And you just lay it down. And cut around it. And that would give you your pattern for the coat. The reason I say label it. Is because by the time you get all of these things deconstructed. Sometimes you can't tell what it was. And if you put it down for any amount of time and go back, you may not remember what that piece was. And so to reconstruct the pattern, if you don't know what you're doing with what the piece is, you won't know what you're doing with it. Hope that makes sense. And every now and then you get a piece that's like this one that's where the seam ripper comes in handy. Dotty. You guys stop biting. 
My dogs are here with me. My dogs are always with me. So I have a workshop where I can be away from where my dogs are. I have to work where my dogs are at the moment. It is what it is. And... I know there's people out there go, oh, I couldn't buy your stuff because you're around dogs. Uh, I know. I get it. I do. Allergies. Totally understand. Let's see, once you get past that one initial place that makes it hard to come apart, as you can see. This is just attached at the seam here. And then it's sewn again with this flap over. Right here. And that makes it a more sturdy piece. This is the fabric where you would put your hand into the pocket. So that is what we've removed. I try to reuse every piece of fabric in something. If I don't use it in a project with the coat, you know, I can use it in making a purse. It could be the lining inside of a purse or the lining inside of a jewelry box or even in one, <coughs> excuse me, one of the quilts. On one of the quilt um, wall hangings. There's a lot of places you can use it. As you can see, we've got the pocket deconstructed. And I'm not going to bore you with all of the details of it, but that's basically how you'll take it apart. You just come to a, a place. That's the next logical thing to take off, and you just remove it. Simply cut the seams, tug a little bit, and see what it does. If it comes right off, great. Don't rip your fabric, don't yank it and rip your holes in your fabric. I have mistakenly learned that lesson hard not more times than I care to admit. When I get in a hurry and I'm just frustrated with it and just want it off, I have just ripped. And what I ended up doing is a piece of fabric that I actually needed the size of what I was deconstructing, I ended up ripping it and it tore on me, which meant it was useless for the project I was trying to use it for. So that was a very hard lesson and a lesson in patience and understanding about how garments work and the construction of and the deconstruction of and stakes and it's okay you make them and you learn from them and you move on and you just go on to make other mistakes and you learn from them and you move on <laughs> it's a learning process as you can see we had the shiny fabric And we also have this liner on the inside that is woven. So that's where the coat came over here. They needed something thicker in here to help keep it kind of stiff. And this is what they used was this woven fabric. This also can be reused. Um, great in purses, what have you. So that's my video for right now. I will come back with another video later on. This is part one. Part two will be showing how much fabric and 
um, supplies I got from actually taking this apart. So I hope everybody has a blessed day. And thank you for watching my videos. Peace out.